Last June 27, I posted a video about two Japanese brands that just released their latest basketball shoes, Asics with the Nova Surge 3 and Igozaru with the Ego Blaze. In that video, one comment struck my mind. User at Splitwave23 asks, Yo, what about Mizuno? And I thought, damn right, what about Mizuno? So let's talk about Mizuno because I bet some of you have no idea about the brand's latest basketball shoe. So stick around, let's talk. Welcome back this fresh bear, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. Let's backtrack. Mizuno is an old brand, much, much older than Nike or Adidas. Ever since it was established in 1906 in Osaka, Japan, Mizuno has been primarily a brand for baseball as envisioned by its founders Rihachi and Rizo Mizuno. Through the years, the brand would eventually branch out to other sports. But basketball has never been one of its main focuses. But that didn't stop the brand from trying. Mizuno released its first ever basketball shoe back in 1983. In the 90s, the brand had Dana Barris of the Seattle Supersonics as its NBA endorser. This stretched into the 90s when Dana played for the 76ers. Now Mizuno is back with a new basketball shoe, the Wave Transista. This is the Wave Transista. According to Mizuno, the Wave Transista is a basketball shoe designed for today's fast-paced basketball world. Mizuno emphasizes lateral support and stability, which are two performance features that are crucial for sudden changes in direction before an explosive move. For the upper material, the Wave Transista uses what Mizuno calls Dynam Motion Fit, which basically consists of widely spaced mesh plus synthetic leather. Mizuno says that the mesh material is breathable, light, and durable. The shoe also uses what the brand calls Dyna Heel Lock, a structure that improves fitting and stability from the ankle to the heel. For the midsole, the Wave Transista uses the Mizuno Energy Next at the heel, a material that is said to be softer, more resilient, and lighter than the Mizuno Energy Foam. The wave-shaped outsole is called Mizuno Wave, and it is said to provide stability due to the dual out trigger from the wave design, which is then combined with a flat sole for greater floor contact. The traction pattern consists of multiple concentric circles. A size 27 centimeter, which is roughly US 10 in Nike sizing, weighs about 304 grams. Pairs are made in Vietnam and are made available July 19 in Japan for about $95. Two colorways are set for release, a white and blue colorway and a silver colorway. We can only guess at this point if Mizuno's re-entry into basketball shoes will be for the long term. The resurgence in basketball shoes among Asian brands is on high steam and it's possible that Mizuno will ride the train at least in the next few years. Now the Wave Transista could be a good start, although I think it shares close similarities to Mizuno's line of volleyball shoes at this point. If Mizuno wants to stand out, I think it first needs to make its own basketball shoes stand out from its volleyball shoes, which could be a challenge if Mizuno doesn't begin to step out of its comfort zone. In the meantime, let me know what you think about Mizuno and its latest basketball shoe, the Wave Transista. Post your thoughts in the comments section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, Follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.